Hello everyone, today we'll be taking a look at more of the Hasbro Force Awakens line of toys. So let's take a look at some of the new waves and some of the bigger packs of the 3.75 inch figures line. So we start off with General Hawks. General Hawks looks pretty nice, it's an interesting costume that he has on the movie and it translates pretty well here. You can see here the first order logo and details here on his arm sleeves, you can see also his gloves. Details on the back are pretty cool too, not much to it but at least it has lines to it so you can see of the clothing a little bit. Uh, he comes with one mini weapon, shiny shoes, simple belt here. You can see the first order logo on the hat there. Face up, details on the face are not that much detail, but it gets the job done of getting the character. What I don't really like of the, the figure is that his head is facing a little bit too down. You can lift it up more, but you can just remove the head a little bit, loosen it up a little bit, and now you can have him facing a bit more upward. Movement again. Four, movement, black movement, black movement is not much, it can go back just forward and because the clothing is stuck on the legs. But yeah, General Hugs is not getting a lot of figures so this is nice if you definitely want to have him. Next up we have here the Guavian Soldier, this one looks pretty neat, it has some pretty nice detail overall on his clothes with all the laces of the clothing, texture on them as well. Great little details over here, this thing here, we didn't really get to see much of this character in action but it was still nice, the costume got my attention and I was pretty much down for it. Great painting, great attention for the detail, I like that they did the red shiny more here, more dark red here so that play out well the colors, he comes with a weapon, again the crappy painting weapons but eh, better something than nothing. Movement, again, four piece movement, again these figures don't really go much to the back on the legs, but he can sit, which is nice, and very movable head, so that's nice. So yeah, uh, great piece of collection, you just want to collect them all, or uh, it's a great character to use for different things. Next up we have the First Order Snow Trooper. Um, these troopers overall look very nice, I was very impressed with how they turn out. They have some pretty great details on them, movement is okay, again no back movement but the little thing here can be removed. It comes with a nice weapon, it has two colors at the very least, it's not like the other ones that's just a plain grey boring. Trooper helmet moves around pretty good things considered of course and overall pretty nifty nice details to it I like it I was pretty impressed overall by it here we have the first order trooper um, he looks pretty nice too great great scalp on the helmet great body overall too um, it is noted that this one is a white softer paint whereas the snow one was a more shiny paint this one's just more a soft white paint let me try to show you here as you can see they both have the same lighting but you can see it's more shiny here the armor of this one whereas here you see the light pretty flat but here you see more much more shine overall this is shinier and shiny here and overall but still, they're pretty nice decent figures together to collect the troopers. Here we have a Toys R Us exclusive Poe Dameron. Here's the package if you want to see it. It's basically the same armor package things, but this time it's a Poe Dameron with the pilot clothing. It's a pretty nice figure, you can actually remove this and put it like that. So you can add the new armor that comes included. Uh, but first let's take a very close up look at the figure. Um, it's pretty nice, the whole costume looks pretty great for the character. Nice little details of the cables that go around and lining here too. Great detail of the clothing, having detail that it's folded and all that stuff. The scope of the face is the same one from the Poe Dameron jacket figure that comes again in one of these packs. That one you can find anywhere. It comes with a little pistol over here too. And you can attach that pistol over here. Let me show you quickly here. Uh, 
there we go and there's your little pistol over there and here's our some of the armors you can put on him you need to remove this first there you go and you put this right here not really a fan of these armors personally um, they look pretty weird they look too big for the characters overall and they don't have any relationship to the movies at all but eh. the bad thing about this figure too is that it doesn't come with the black hole helmet which is a real shame instead we get these armors um, they're not terrible they're nice ideas I just wish they look better on the character it just makes the character look so big and unfitting for it but anyway as a figure it's really nice and if you really want to have the complete collection of these 3.75 figures this one is great because the other one they have Poe is the helmet but it's attached on its head and it's kind of bad personally this one can be a bit more expensive because they bring that armor that's supposed to be amazing but it's not <laughs> But regardless, I'm pretty happy to just have him. So to continue a little bit with Poe Dameron, here we have the jacket figure. It also comes in that package that I show you. It comes in a similar package to that one. I don't have it right now here, but you can see this one I'm very happy with. Um, I tend to like more Poe with his jacket. I don't know. I think it's a cooler look for him. Um, jacket looks nice. He comes with the weapon he shoots at Kylo Ren in the beginning. So that's pretty cool. Call face is pretty nice too overall. And uh, great, great attention to detail on the clothing. Again with the bending. So overall I'm very happy and I'm just glad to have both of his versions in the end. So as you can see the sculpts of the faces are pretty similar to them. But it's nice to have both variants. So here's how he looks with the helmet and equipment he comes with. Um, still looks a bit odd but I kinda like this one a little bit better. Fits a little bit more better on the character and it's a helmet that's actually from the movie that comes. Um, this is the helmet he wears at first at the beginning of the movie so that was nice. And it's an interesting armor. I could play a little more around with it. And last but certainly not least here we have Boba Fett. He looks pretty great, um, the helmet sculpt looks amazing, great little details everywhere with the logo here, weapons, armor, colors are all nice, very nice detail, another logo detail here. Um, I like that the cape here is actually pasted in because my other capes would just rip apart. As you can see it's removable the jetpack too. The jetpack looks kind of crappy, I will deny you that. It doesn't have any color to it. But I, it's something that can be worked around I guess. But otherwise all the other things are very well detailed. And the weapons is actually pretty nice too. Um, he comes with this armor pack. Not amazing either. Interesting but not amazing. It's not a bad idea. But kind of flimsy in execution. Not that very exciting, but I like the idea that they at least put the logo of him there and I like the idea of making him some sort of ultra robot weapon or something, but eh, it just doesn't fit well with the figures. Again, it looks too big for the character. Still, if you're looking for a Boba Fett to add to your collection, this one is very nice. Again, it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it, the quality overall of the figure. The armor figures may be a little hard to recommend because of the price, but they're still very nice if you decide to go for them, although you may want to just go with the Black Series. But either way, these are some really nice figures if you just want to collect these characters in your collection from the movie, and, or get a new Boba Fett. I think overall they're really great. There's just pretty nice detail on them, great sculptures on them. The only thing is not as much movement as you know but still very nice. See you next time on the next episode.